want to emphasize right up front, a lot, a lot of people think that a two kingdoms theology is a political theory or a social theory, uh, perhaps like Kuiper's theory of sphere sovereignty, or perhaps like the political theory uh, we associate with the separation of church and state. But that's not what two kingdoms thought is, first and foremost. It's a theology. The two kingdoms are not uh, two spheres. They're not two realms. Uh, two kingdoms theology is not about dividing life into categories um, or, or discerning some area of neutrality with the world. That's, none of that is what two kingdoms theology really is. Rather, a two kingdoms theology is a way of, of thinking about a, a Pauline eschatology of the present age and the age to come. And the ways in which uh, these, the, these uh, mix during this life. For Paul, right, in Ephesians 1, Paul says that Christ has been raised up to God's right hand so that he's been uh, made the head of all authority, both in this age and in the age to come. And and this age, Calvin said, um, the institutions of this age that are passing away, that won't endure into the kingdom of God, like political authority and and marriage and the property arrangements we have and the, the social vocations that we have, these are all part of the temporal kingdom. They're things of this age that will not endure into the age to come. But the spiritual kingdom is the future kingdom of Christ. It will one day transform all things. It will restore the entire creation. But at this point, it breaks into this age through the power of the Holy Spirit, beginning at Pentecost, and then in the way that the Spirit pours out His gifts upon the church and gives the fruits of Christ's uh, righteousness to the church, and wherever, you, or wherever we see these gifts and these fruits uh, in action, there we have the church. And so that's why Calvin would say that the church is Christ's spiritual kingdom. The two kingdoms theology is really just a way. It, it's a paradigm to help Christians think about how to witness to Christ in the tension between the already and the not yet. How we seek a kingdom and its righteousness that will one day redeem and transform all things. And yet that still awaits uh, the return of Christ for its fullness. Uh, how we, we seek a kingdom whose, whose righteousness will one day lead us to reign with Christ at God's right hand. But right now calls us to suffering service 